Okay, there we go. Hi, I'm Kelly Busby with Kingwood College, and we're going to talk about an arterial blood gas. This is Mr. Hand, and he's in the hospital. He's got two liter cannula. I've checked 30 minutes ago. He's still on his two liter cannula. I asked him to keep it on. I'm double checking with him. I've checked his chart, and he does not have a history of anticoagulant therapy. He does not have an infectious disease, although it doesn't matter because I treat everybody like they have AIDS, which means I'm going to put on my gloves with him after I wash my hands. Now, just before I pick the needle up, um, if I've touched a lot of things in between the first time I walked in, I go ahead and wash my hands again. It's usually a good idea to wash your hands again and then put the gloves on just before the needle. I like to have small gloves. These are labeled small, but I don't think they are because my fingers don't fit real tight. I like to have them tight across my fingers because it makes my fingertips more sensitive. So. All right, Mr. Hand, I'm going to first feel. First, Mr. Hand, I do not have the needle yet. I'm going to feel for this with my finger. I will tell you when I go to stick. Okay, so now I need to have some blood pressure. Okay, and I find these gloves are the label's small, but I'm not really sure. Okay. stick here until I can find an artery. Okay, there I feel it. Okay, Mr. Hand, what I need you to do is make a fist. I'm going to do an Allen's test. So he makes a fist, he opens it up, I release the ulnar, he pinks up. Now, if he doesn't pink up, he may have had his hand flip back too far. I hold it steady. I like to hold his hand. See, I'm holding his hand with the back of my hand. Do that again, Mr. Hand makes a fist. Then when he holds it open, his hand's relatively flat. Okay, he's pink. That means he has ulnar collateral flow. So now I go back. Okay, Mr. Hand, I forgot to ask you, are you allergic to shellfish? Are you allergic to iodine? Okay, good. I'm going to clean you up with some alcohol and some iodine, and yes, it's going to be a stick here in a little bit. So I, I, I um, do the iodine center out, and don't go back over it, alcohol center out. Now I prepare the needle. Now, normally I like to prepare the needle with my back to him at his bedside table. I don't like to use a patient as a table. It's, it's impolite. And besides that, if he does jerk, he's liable to knock everything off. Now, I might have been better off doing this without the gloves. There we go. And this is an old-timey kit, and what it's got is a little rubber, little rubber stopper. I'm going to put the needle in that later. Oh, this is this weird one. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, bevel up, and at a 45-degree angle, I go back. Now, Mr. Hand, there won't be a stick until I tell you. Right now, I'm looking for it with my fingers again. Okay. This could be a little stick. There we go. Hold still, Mr. Hold still, Mr. Hand, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of lift my finger up out of the way. You're still doing... Mr. Hand doesn't have real good blood pressure, so this may be the best we can get. We want to get two cc's, but we may have to make do with this. Now, this particular one, you pull this up. First thing you want to do is protect yourself from the needle. Okay, and then you put it in here. All right, now I need to get rid of my air first before I shake it. Notice I'm keeping pressure on here. If you're with me, I will hold pressure for you. Just your hand, you're doing fine. All right, now I've got rid of my air. Now I roll it gently back and forth. Do not do it vigorously. I do not want to rupture the cells. If we have to get an electrolyte, this will throw the potassium way off. All righty, now I put it in my bag which of course I have already labeled with his name and number, which I checked against his name badge. 
so that I know it's really him, and I've already written his, um, I have already written his, um, his um, information, his two liter cannula, and his sat at the top of the gas. There we go. Okay, Mr. Han, I'm gonna hold this for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna check it. You're still bleeding. I hold it for another 10 minutes. Check it again. Now, whether I put a Band-Aid or not depends on the hospital. If I put a Band-Aid on, it's a pressure Band-Aid. It's like this. And you know it's a good idea, I forgot to tell you, so go ahead and open up your Band-Aid ahead of time so you can do it one-handed. If you notice, though, I'm able to do it back of my hand. Pressure Band-Aid goes on like There we go. Okay, now it's going to be a little sore, might be a little bruising, but I'll help pressure, so hopefully it won't be much bruising. Okay, we can stop. Set the same button.